All right, here we're going to look at finding uh, another area of a region bounded by two polar curves. We're going to find the area of the region that lies inside both uh, r equals 9 cosine theta and r equals 9 sine theta. So I'm going to do a quick sketch of these. Uh, again, r equals 9 cosine theta is going to be a circle. that sits on the positive x-axis. So that's going to be 9 cosine theta. Again, you can plot this by you know, picking points for theta and find your corresponding value for r. Um, the graph of 9 sine theta is going to look similar, except it's going to be on the positive y-axis. OK, so this would be up here at 9 as well. OK, so we're trying to find the area uh, enclosed by both of these, which is going to be this little shaded area. So the way I'm going to compute this is first I'm going to find uh, this little point of intersection that corresponds for what value of theta are they uh, going to be intersecting. So again, this is 9 sine theta. So what I'm going to do is just set those two uh, curves equal to each other. So well, we would have 9 sine theta equals 9 cosine theta. And well, that's the same thing as saying sine theta has to equal cosine theta. Well, the angle in the first quadrant where this would happen would correspond to theta equals pi over 4. So this is going to correspond to theta equals pi over 4. So what I'm going to do uh, to try to set this up, hopefully, as simply as possible, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find the area of just the, the portion on the right side. I'm going to find only half of this enclosed region. So I'm going to find this little region. Uh, by symmetry, this is going to be uh, doubled. My picture's not the best. But to find half of the region, well, I'm going to use the formula 1 half r squared d theta. And here I'm going to use 1 half, and I think, well, again, I'm going from theta equals 0 up to theta equals pi over 4. Um, this region that I'm interested in, it's bounded by the curve r equals 9 sine theta. So that's the curve I'm going to use. I'm going to use 9 sine theta quantity squared. Okay, I'm going to integrate from 0 up to pi over 4. And then since I'm only computing uh, half of it, I'm going to have to double that. So this is now the integral we'll have to compute. So let's see, 2 times a half, that's just 1. We would get 9 squared, which is going to be 81. We would have from 0 to pi over 4. Then we would be left with sine squared theta. But then we'll have to use our identity, 1 half uh, times 1 minus cosine of 2 theta, d theta. And let's see, I guess we'll get 81 over 2 when we pull the 1 half out. Uh, we can go ahead and integrate this. The antiderivative of 1 is just theta. We would get minus sine of 2 theta over 2. Again, all of this would be evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. So it looks like we've got 81 over 2. We'll plug in pi over 4 minus, we'll have sine of pi, 2 times pi over 4. 2 times pi over 4 is going to be pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is going to be 1. So we'll have uh, pi over 4 minus 1 half as our upper limit of integration. Minus, we'll just plug in 0. Uh, we'll get a 0. Sine of 0 is also 0. So it looks to me like we've basically got our solution now. It's going to be, um, I guess we could always multiply this out if we wanted to, or just leave it alone, or you could factor out another one-half. I don't know. I guess whatever makes you happy. Uh, this would be 81 over 2 times pi over 4 minus one-half. Um, I think I'm probably just going to leave it like that. So that would be our area. So again, I think, you know, to go back to this, uh, certainly, again, you know, Graphing 9 cosine theta, uh, 9 sine theta, hopefully, again, you remember that those are circles. If not, again, just pick points for theta, uh, you know, let theta equal 0, let theta equal pi over 2, let theta equal pi, let it equal 3 pi over 2, etc. 
Uh, pick values of theta, compute r, plot those polar points, and hopefully uh, you'll end up with a circle at the end. Um, you know, again, to find the point of intersection, just set the curves equal to each other, just like normal. Um, and then again, it's just, you know, the only, the only curve we're using in this case is the 9 sine theta. Again, just because that is, uh, that's the right side of the shaded region that I'm interested in. It's bounded by that curve 9 sine theta, so that's the function that we have to use.